Hello friends, this video on heat part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us start with conduction. The word conduction is derived from the word conduct. So anything which allows heat to pass from one part to pass through itself, they are called conductors. And that is how the conductor, the way heat transfer takes place in conductors is called conduction. So let us see what it is. So it is the transfer of heat between different parts of a body because of their temperature difference. So it is like the same object, within the same object, heat is being transferred from one part to another part. And why heat trans anywhere heat transfer taking place is because of difference in temperature. Wherever there will be temperature difference, only there heat transfer will take place. Now when this heat transfer takes place within one particular object, then it is called conduction. There it is known as conduction. So here you can think of the example of the metal pan with the metal handle. So in that case what happens? The entire part whether it is the handle or it is the pan, it is all part of the same vessel, right? But what happens when you heat it, first of all this portion gets heated up. Then the heat gets conducted to the fish which is present inside the pan. Gradually it also heats up the handle of the pan. So what is happening here? Here the same object is being heated but different parts of the body is being heated because there is a difference in temperature. So this has a more temperature than this. So therefore heat flows from here to here and that's how the handle also gets heated. So this is an example of conduction. So heat is always transferred from hotter end towards the colder end. So hotter end to colder end. That is how heat transfer takes place. Now conduction is the most important mode of heat transfer in solids. Because by looking at the definition itself, you can understand that it takes place in solid objects. So in solids, they get heat only by conduction. Now again, as we discussed in the previous slides that it is not necessary that all solids will conduct heat because there are many solids which do not conduct heat, the insulators, for example, plastic. Now, instead of the metal handle, if you have a plastic handle, so there this concept of conduction will not work. And the reason is plastic it doesn't conduct heat. So plastic is an insulator of heat. So therefore, this concept of conduction works for solids and that to those solids which are good conductors of heat. Now, if you look at the thermal conductivity, that means how much uh, heat is conducted by an object, it is seen that solids are the best conductors. Again, I am telling it is not that all solids are, but I am only talking about the good conductors of heat. So solids are better conductors than liquids and liquids are better conductors than gases as far as thermal conductivity. Thermal conductivity means the ability to conduct heat. Thermal always means heat. And conductivity is nothing but the ability to conduct heat. So let us take this simple example to understand the concept of conduction. So let us suppose that uh, we have two different objects. Say this is object A and this is object B. And these two objects are connected to each other through this rod. So this is a rod. So now they are all conductors. So they all conduct heat. So let us suppose the object A is at a temperature say Ta and the object B is at a temperature Tb. And we say that temperature of A is greater than the temperature of B. That means object A is hotter than object B. Now what should happen as per the concept of conduction? As per conduction, whenever there is a temperature difference, heat transfer will take place and conduction will happen in case of solid objects. So this is, this is all, it involves all solids. Also it has a temperature difference. So that ways heat transfer should take place from object A to object B. So this is how heat transfer should take place. But Will this heat transfer take place 
for infinite period of time not really because when the heat transfer start taking place what happens gradually the temperature of a starts reducing because it is losing heat and the temperature of object b starts increasing because it is gaining heat because heat is getting transferred from a to b it is like if you are spending money so what are you doing when you are buying stuff from a shop and spending money so you are losing money and the shopkeeper is gaining money so the same thing here so this is you and this is the shopkeeper so heat it is losing heat so its temperature is decreasing it is gaining heat so its temperature is increasing now after some time what will happen after some time the temperature of a and the temperature of b will become equal and when after some time when temperature of a becomes equal to temperature of b what do we call we say that a steady state has reached steady is like stable so in this stable state now do you think that there is a temperature difference there is no temperature difference so as soon as this steady state is reached where both are at the same temperature after that there will be no conduction taking place because heat transfer will take place only when there is a temperature difference between the two objects so this is how the concept of conduction works let us look at some interesting facts associated with this concept of conduction Did you know that why do houses made of concrete roofs get very hot during summer Now houses which are made up of concrete roofs they are so hot because the thermal conductivity of concrete is not very small Now what is thermal conductivity the ability to conduct heat so that means concrete is able to conduct heat quite well so even though it is not It, the thermal conductivity is not as great as metals but yet it is not very small also so because of its thermal conductivity so thermal conductivity of concrete is not very small even though it is small than metals of course so if you actually start constructing houses made up of metal roofs that's it it will become difficult to survive in summers because it will become that hot So therefore what do people do so people prefer to give a layer of earth or a foam insulation on the ceiling so on the ceiling if you have this additional layer then the heat transfer inside the room gets prohibited and therefore the room remains cooler so see these are all uh, uh, actually the applications of what we learn so we learn about conduction but this is an application of conduction thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.